this week, I took salad for lunch. And you know how the three packs of romaine come inside of, um, at the store in the little pack? Well, I did this before a few years back and I could never get it to continue to grow. Um, the outer edges would always just um, rot and I kept taking them off and but this would never grow further. So I've been seeing videos where they started it in the water and then they moved it to soil. So let's do that now. So we're gonna try to get these strawberries out of here today these herbs out because they're overgrowing in this pot this is the lettuce i got the other day when we went to home depot here's a little update on the monkey grass that we moved it looks like it's sticking pretty good doing well here which again this stuff is very hard to kill so are really coming out this year. I wonder if I could separate them in. Probably just leave them alone. The elephant ears are starting to come in. These things are also hard to kill. Um, they started back that way and moved forward like they grow out each year. So they get pretty big. But yeah, everything's doing really good. And here's that flower. That's a, this is actually a weed. So one of the subscribers commented and said, the name of this weed was Spiderwort. Again, thank you for commenting because on this channel, we learn together and I greatly appreciate you letting me know the technical name for this. Okay, so I'm gonna get this lettuce, bring her over here. I'm gonna go inside and get my other lettuce. I got this container. Okay. So last time I kept these in the water and they kept, like I said, the edges of them would rot. So now I'm going to, now that I have a little growth, I'm gonna to try to transplant them to the soil. Let's see if it works. So this is some garden soil that I'm using. Um, as you can see, my mother-in-law actually purchased me a bag of a garden soil when she got hers. And so um, this is for in-ground use, and I know that this is uh, not for going in the ground. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Like, if I have to change it out, I just have to you change it out. I really like this. Just, this let this be our template. Well, one there, one there. So this is the romaine lettuce. Got this at Home Depot a few weeks ago. I always take and break up the roots. I wanted to get a good root system, so I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom of the planter. probably feeling a lot better being in here too because it can the leaves can the roots can stretch out now all right here's the store vault this is truly an experiment <laughs> Okay, so here we are. Now I'm gonna give these guys a good drink of water because when I transport or transplant like that, I always give them a good drink so they don't go into too much shock. But it'll be interesting to see if the store-bought lettuce on the ends grow or not. I don't know, we'll see. OK, 
Okay, here goes. I'm gonna leave these here to get some sunshine, some sunshine, but they do not like being in full sun because it's just too much for them. So just leave them here for just a little bit. Or I may put them in a different. Oh, no, I'll leave them here just for a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these off before the squirrels get them. This one is loaded, man. All right. Y'all, I know that the camera is probably showing you how red these strawberries are, but they really were that color of a red and they were the sweetest strawberries I've ever tasted. So I hope the um, remainder of the strawberries that are um, out here or growing will taste just as good. Look how pretty and red they are. They're gonna be delicious. Okay, let's go ahead and get these strawberries out. So these are my strawberries that I had in my garden from last year. I attended a class at work and they were giving us uh, strawberries. So a couple of these are ever bearing and some of them are June bearing. Really don't know the difference between the two. I think it would be that one is always going to bear and June only bears in um, June. Comment below if you know. I think I should put my herbs in there or herbs herbs which one is it herbs herbs i don't know i think i need to separate these and put those in there let's do that instead of putting the strawberries probably need to work down here but I do like this tiered planting tray. However, it just seems like it never works. I've used it several times. I've never really been overly impressed with how things come out. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, I have another um, Creeping Jenny plant that I'm going to put in. I think it's more for like a topiary look for things to cascade down and to, you know, how they say the thriller, the spiller, the filler. I think it's more for that. I don't think it's really conducive. As for me, now this is just solely my opinion, but for me, it doesn't work. And just a plot um, a dampener. I have not, I have moved um, several of the herbs out of this because it just... It seems like to me it doesn't give them enough room to do what they need to do. And the strawberries are no longer in here as well. So I think it's more for um, ornamental, the pretty flowers, the the um, annuals, you know, the flowers that are just going to come for a season and then, um, you know, die off. So comment below and let me know what you use this um, text, this stacked tray for. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is use this for some flowers for the front porch or actually for the back porch. So I think um, the Creeping Jenny would look really good because it's like a crawler and it kind of cascades out of the pots and it's always really pretty. And then maybe put some pansies or zinnias or um, petunias in here to give it a pop of color on the um, back deck. But yeah, anything else that I've tried to put in here just does not look like I, it, I won't say it doesn't look, it doesn't do well for me. Now, that's just, again, my opinion, but it just doesn't do well. Like I, I have an envisionment of how I think it will turn out and it just never does. So again, comment below and let me know if you're using these stack trays and what you have in them. And if you have any suggestions of flowers of what I should put in them, comment that below as well. So when I'm outside, I'm always trying to maximize my time. So I'm cleaning off the deck where all of that um, soil had gotten on there. And then I decided to spray the chairs to get the pollen off. I've had these chairs for many, many years. They originally started off as a hunter green. And throughout the years, I just spray painted them black. With some Krylon spray paint, the plastic adhesive one, works really, really well. And it brings them um, or makes them look like brand new again. So time to time when it's not raining, I will go ahead and fill up my watering can with regular water so I won't have to bring the hose up on the porch. Now I do from time to time, if it is raining and I'm home, I will put out my rain buckets and my watering can to catch rain water for ornamental plants. Okay, so we got the strawberries in here. And I think what I'm gonna do as they start to grow, cause they will 
like I said, mother plant will create a daughter. I'll just get some more of these. I have a few more in um, the shed. And, um, but I would definitely um, add more. Probably have to put some type of netting on these as well because um, they were a yard favorite amongst the squirrels. Okay, so we did that. Cleaned off the porch from where I um, spill some of the, the soil and you saw this I believe I don't know but here's my little herb herb garden herb garden I'm gonna get a basil plant to go there so that'll make that complete thinking about taking this out because it's already so overgrown from the pot I don't know may dry some rosemary I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that but that's that this one's gonna go to a friend who her plant she lost her strawberry plant and here's the lettuce I let it stay over in the sun for just a little bit and it just wasn't liking it so much so I brought it back over here this fern I did not cover it we had an unexpected frost and it just burned it up so bad so i'm going to keep working with it i'm gonna i'm keep nurturing on it and bring it back it's already starting to um, show some signs of improvement so stick around to see that but that's all for today's video guys i appreciate you so much for coming back week after week and i don't know who this is but she is posting some videos so if you stuck around to the end of this video um, just drop a smiley face in the comments for me. I appreciate all of you so very much, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.